Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So in today's tutorial, I want to show you seven Microsoft Word tips and tricks that you need to know. Basically, these tips are basically going to improve on how you use Microsoft Word. The first I'm going to talk about how to use the translate. So let's say I have this document and I'm going to zoom in for you to see. Let's say I have this document and then I want to translate portion of this document to a different language. I want to translate this. Let's say provide professional quality services on time and on budget. I want to translate this into a other language. How do I go about it? So that's the first tip we're going to look, look at. So we're going to use the translate. So we'll go to review. Once you go to review, see what on the language you have to translate, click on translate and you can translate the entire document or just a portion of the document. In this case, I just want to translate portion of that document. So I'll go to translate section. So when I click on that, on the far right, it's going to give us the option to translate. Just have to make sure this, the translator is going to load and make sure you have internet connected as well. So once the translator loads, you have to select the section of your document that you want to translate okay, so when you allow this to load what is going to happen is that you can see the section over here so we have auto detect and then two so the two is the language you want to translate onto you don't need to change anything over there. the section that you select automatically is going to detect the language and then you have to select the language you want to translate to so let's say you want to translate the first line into a different language so i just have to drag across that portion just select that portion of the your document that you want to translate you can see automatically it detect that reward english and then it translate into a different language let's say we want to translate this into a chinese we can just click on that and you can see this has been trans translated into chinese for us if you want to replace this in our document you can just go and click on insert to add it to our document let's go ahead and then change this into Croatian. this has been translated and i want to replace this document over i just have to click on insert and then it's going to replace it within my document so this is now what a Croatian language let's try the second part so I'm just going to select this part again and then translate this into a different language. So this is English now and then I'll select a different language from my list. So let's say I want to translate into a Dutch. So I select this and it has converted that into a Dutch and then I have to click on a set and it's basically going to update that. So basically if you want to write a document, you want to write essay to somebody and then you write it in English, you can use this process to basically convert everything into the language the person speaks and then you can forward it to the person so this helps a lot and it can basically translate all your documents i'm just translating a section of my document but you can go ahead and click on what translate the entire document then this is going to work basically the same way to translate everything for you so that's my first tips or tricks you need to know in word and to be frank with you this is going to help you a lot okay the next tip i'm going to talk about is how to pin a document let's say you have a project you are working on and then anytime you want to work on you just have to once you launch word let's say you launch where you go to file and go to open when you click on open you can see there are several projects here you are working on there are several documents you are working on and then you want to basically have a document that you pin anytime you open word and you go to open you can see it at the top in order for you to open you can just go ahead and then do that so let's say we have uh, let's say over here have web write-up so let's say my cv i want to pin this at the top anytime i want to open i just click on that you can see when you hover around it you can see we have a pin over here just click on that click on the pin and it's basically going to pin it to the top so you can see now we have this appearing to be part of the top document over here so anytime i want to open this it's easy for me to access so when i go to file go to open it will be part of the document that will appear at the top you can see this has been pinned if you don't want it to be pinned you can just click on it and then it remove the pin from there okay so that's our second topic we want to talk about okay the next i'm going to talk about is how to calculate it basically we always use formulas in excel but the truth is that you can also use formulas in weight okay so that is our third option how to calculate and do addition and multiplication and other functions in word it's possible in word and i want to show you how to do that so have names and then cells and then in this case i have 
the names and the individual cells and i want to calculate the total y you don't need to move this to excel to do this calculation you don't basically need to move this to excel to do this calculation you can easily do the multiplication addition and everything over here so i'm going to show you how to do that so with our document selected this way so with our document selected, i just have to click on click at the position where i want to get my total okay once i click over i just go to layout at the top and you can see at the far right corner and a data option we have formula so click on formula and it's going to give you a pop-up and you can see automatically what is intelligent to know that you want to sum up the the source or the figures above so you can see sum above so it's going to do that for you if you come to paste function we have several functions where you can select we can count we can use if statement in this case we are going to use the default one because we want to sum up the two figures over here like the four figures okay that's the sales so just click on ok and you can see we are getting the summation over here it's able to add the top top figures for us so automatically if you add this yourself you can see that it's going to be about 950 okay and this is in dollars you can see automatically it has added what the currency to it so this is a very unique way in which you can do addition and other functions and word without having to go to excel to do those things so that is my third tips or tricks the fourth one i'm going to talk about it how to do sorting you can actually sort your figures in alphabetical order you can sort names in alphabetical order or can have figures and you can also sort them and ascend your descending order so let's say i have this and automatically i see the number with a is supposed to be at the first position and in that order i want it in alphabetical order so in order to do that just have to select what i want to sort and then within my home tab we have paragraph you can see within paragraph we have sort just click on the sort and it's going to give you what a pop-up this way a dialog box so what you can see is that automatically it has detected this to be what a text okay so we can we can basically sort a number and we can sort date as well so those are the three things we can sort in this case we want to sort text so so these texts are what we want to sort so it has been selected you want to sort it in ascending order descending order we can just go ahead and do that in this case i want it ascending order so i just have to click on ok and you can see this has been sorted in that order so it is going to select them in alphabetical order from a and then the a's will come before the b in that order so this has been sorted in that unique order you can sort as i said you can sort numbers also so in order to sort numbers just select the numbers you want to sort and use the same process go back to the sort option and this time we can see automatically it's detected that this is a number and also you want it in ascending order so you want the smallest first and then in that order the rest will follow so now three is the smallest and it will follow in that order okay so that is my fourth option the next option i'm going to talk about is how to change to dark mode some of us due to our background and program we like to work with dark backgrounds and all that so your entire word document can see how it appeared to be white we can go ahead and then change this entire look into a darkish color or whatever we want so in order to do that I just go to file and when i click on account just click on your account and you can see over your office team and our office team you have option to change the colors you can see it's not saying colorful when i click on the drop down i have option to go to gray color you can change everything into a gray so if you go back here, you can see what is happening your entire interface appears to be a gray color we can go ahead and again go to account and let's say we want to use a, a black color so you can see this it's going to change everything for you by your write up your space where you want to write will appear to be white if you indeed want to change that one as well you can go to design when you click on design under page you come to page color you can change that one to to a gray or whatever color but you just have to take note that what is going to happen is that when you want to print this you're still going to have what a white background it's, that's going to appear as ash as you are seeing so if i click on this gray color let's say i've selected this gray color and i want to print this let's say control plus what p i want to print that's a shortcut for print you can see that it appear the background still appear to be white as i want so basically if you want to you are the type who want to work with dark interface you can use this opportunity to change it to this kind of background you want to work with so this is also a strategy you can use to at least change and customize how your document and everything will look so i'm going to switch back to the colorful and then i'm going to stick to that for now so that is my fifth point and 
The next point I'm going to talk about is how you can save your document into a different format. So most of the time people say, how can I convert my Word document into PDF? This is straightforward. In the latest version of Word, you can just go ahead, click on File. When you go to Save As, and you want this in, in Word, just select where you want to save your document. So let's say I want to save it to desktop. And then the file extension, that is the most important, will determine how your file will be saved. See, by default, it's going to save it in a Word document. So we just click on the save type and then select what PDF. So you can see we have PDF here. And then, yeah, let me see, I want to save it to desktop as it is. And click on that. And it's going to save this file into what? A PDF format for us. So that is how to save into a PDF in Word. So you can see I have my Word, everything in PDF format. Now everything I've done is now in PDF. So that is our six points. The last point I'm going to talk about is how to use clipboard. In Microsoft Word, there's something called clipboard. You like to copy a lot and then, let's say I've translated this into a different language and I copied this. Once I copy this, there's a place this is going to be stored and maybe I want to save it along the way whilst I'm working. I don't need to let's say i want to copy two lines and then i want to paste it several times in my program i don't need to go and then be pasting click on paste paste i can just go to clipboard click on this where we have the home button you have clipboard click on that dialog box when you click on that it will tell you what is happening over here this can hold up to what initially this can hold up to 24. once you are pasting document over here, it can hold up to 24. so you can see what we copied is being stored within our clipboard so if i come down here and i want to paste this in somewhere i can just click on that and then you can see this has been pasted over there if i click on it it will be pasted over if i go ahead and i copy additional document right now Control c to copy you can see this has been has been updated within our clipboard okay so this has been updated like i said it's going to hold up to 24 different kind of things you copied okay so if I come down here and then I want to paste again, I can decide to paste any of them. So once you copy them, you can hold up to 24 over here. So basically, these are some of the tips and tricks I want you to know and Word. I'll be having more videos and other amazing strategies you need to know using Microsoft Word. So stay alert and subscribe to this channel. Share this video with friends and like it as well. So you don't miss any of my videos anytime i upload them thank you so much for watching this short tutorial till i come your way again stay safe bye bye